Let's talk about yeast infections in your mouth and whether or not they are contagious. Hi everyone, my name is Whitney and I am a dental hygienist here to talk about yeast infections in your mouth, also known as candidiasis or oral thrush. Now, oral thrush can happen if you have an overgrowth of certain types of bacteria in your mouth, meaning that the natural bacteria that are always in your mouth become unbalanced. Now, how does this happen? Just like other types of yeast infections on your skin, you can get oral thrush in your mouth when all the risk factors line up at the same time. And the risk factors are things like you've been sick recently or you're taking antibiotics and or you have a denture or retainer that isn't being cleaned properly. These types of things can result in a large accumulation of thrush bacteria in certain parts of your mouth. So how do you know if you have thrush? Common symptoms are raw, red, sensitive oral mucosa. Oral mucosa is the pink skin in your mouth. So if it's not pink, then you got to think. Burning sensations, loss or change in taste, thick white residue that looks like cottage cheese, dry cracked areas at the corners of of your mouth, white filmy areas on your tongue or under removable prosthetics, such as dentures or partial dentures or retainers, and bad breath. Now, the big question is, is it contagious? And the big answer is yes, yes it is. And one way you can spread it is through kissing and or sexual contact. With kissing, if someone has a severe oral thrush infection, it doesn't necessarily mean you're guaranteed to get it, but there's a pretty good chance that you will. And if someone has any other type of yeast infection, it is possible to spread the yeast or thrush rush to another person through intimate actions. So be smart, have good hygiene, and treat the infection promptly. And we'll talk all about treatment options in just a second, but really quick, another way oral thrush can spread is through breastfeeding. When it comes to nursing, both moms and babies are at risk for yeast and thrush infections. For example, a baby might develop oral thrush and then spread it to their mother during nursing, causing a yeast infection on the mother's skin. Or if the mother has a yeast infection, she could potentially spread it to her baby's mouth. So it's extremely important to practice good oral hygiene before and after nursing to prevent possible infections. Now, let's say you have it. How do you get rid of it? What are the treatment options? Regardless of what's causing your oral thrush, one of the best ways to treat it is with a prescription antifungal. You can get a prescription from your dentist or doctor. They will generally prescribe an antifungal product such as a mouthwash, a lozenge, a tablet, or even a liquid. And please know yeast infections don't usually go away on their own. So having said that, I'll give you a few things you can try at home, but really the best option is to see your dentist for a prescription. One thing you can try at home is to rinse with warm salt water. Swishing often soothes oral inflammation and can gently clean your mouth even when areas feel too tender to touch. Another thing to look into is dental probiotics. And dental probiotics are not just any probiotic. They have to be specially formulated for your mouth. I will link some dental probiotics in the description as well as my dental probiotic video if you'd like to learn more. And something to always stay away from is swishing with hydrogen peroxide. If you think you have oral thrush, swishing with hydrogen peroxide will only throw off your oral flora even more and it may even make it difficult to clear up your infection. And one more thing is that swishing with it daily can even increase your chances of getting oral thrush in the first place. So definitely be careful with hydrogen peroxide. Also try to stay away from any mouthwashes that contain alcohol because they will cause major burning sensations inside of your mouth if you do have oral thrush. But like I said, it's really best to see a dentist or a medical professional since they can easily prescribe an antifungal medicine to properly treat your oral thrush and give you quick relief. And before we go, let's go over three things you can do to prevent getting oral thrush in the first place. Number one, if you are someone who has a removable retainer or any other removable prosthetics like dentures or partial dentures, or you wear a night guard at night, be sure to clean them thoroughly every single day. I'll link my how to clean retainers and night guards video in the description if you'd like to learn more. And also, if you do wear a denture, do not sleep in it. Never sleep in dentures or partial dentures. They're only for the day. Number two, practice good oral hygiene yourself and nursing hygiene. So clean your mouth regularly, brushing, flossing, etc. Be sure you're replacing your toothbrush or toothbrush head every three months and throwing out old toothbrushes whenever you're sick. For infants and nursing hygiene, wipe their mouths with a clean, soft washcloth after feedings or at least a few times a day. I will also link my how to care for your baby's teeth video in the description box. And number three, consider taking dental probiotics if you are someone who has a high risk of getting oral thrush. High risk factors are things like if you were sick recently and your immune system is lowered, if you recently kissed someone with a yeast infection, if you have uncontrolled diabetes, HIV, cancer, going through chemo or radiation, and other immunodeficiencies. All of these things could put you at a higher risk of developing oral thrush. I hope this video helped you. Please like and subscribe and turn on your notifications if it did. And until next time, I'll see you on Instagram at Teeth Talk Girl. Peace, love, and teeth.